Perhaps no single film has generated as much admiration, controversy, debate, and analysis as Orson Welles' first film, Citizen Kane, released in 1941. Welles was only 25 years old when he wrote, directed, and starred in this film, which has a virtually unchallenged reputation as one of the greatest films ever made. When Welles arrived in Hollywood in 1940, he had already established himself as an important director in the New York theater scene and was widely regarded as a genius. Although his first love was always the live theater, he was seduced by Hollywood with an unprecedented contract with RKO Pictures, complete artistic control over his films. The film itself was a not-so-veiled biography of the wealthy newspaper magnate William Randolph Hearst, and Hearst's attempts to shelve the film because of Wells's rather unflattering portrait of the main character created a lot of problems for Wells and for the uh, studio, RKO. Nevertheless, the film was eventually released uh, to very good critical reviews and modest commercial success. No one could have anticipated, however, the remarkable status as a cinematic masterpiece the film would go on to achieve in later years. For anyone interested in the historical details surrounding Wells, Hearst, and the making of the film, I highly recommend the documentary The Battle Over Citizen Kane, originally made for the PBS program American Experience. This documentary is included in the recent two-disc DVD release of the film. Among other things, you'll learn a few interesting things about the term Rosebud. What is most remarkable about the film is the level of cinematic innovation demonstrated in nearly every area. The film was narratively innovative, the story being told in a complex series of layered flashbacks. The film was photographically innovative with extensive use of deep focus lenses, deep space composition, and dramatic pictorial lighting designs. The editing, too, was innovative. The sound, the acting, nearly everything about this film jumped off the screen and announced the arrival of a new cinematic vision and a new claim for cinema as an art form. For more on the various innovations in Citizen Kane, watch my video, Narrative and Stylistic Innovation in Citizen Kane, in this week's Instructional Materials folder. Orson Welles, Citizen Kane, released in 1941. I hope you enjoy the film.